Ever wondered what it's like to switch from Unity to Unreal Engine? Well, let me tell you, it's a bit like trying to make toast without electricity, without the bread and without the toaster. But hey, where's the fun in game development without a few challenges along the way, right? Today, I'm diving headfirst into my journey of making that very transition. And trust me, it's been one heck of a ride. So, picture this, a seasoned developer with years of coding experience suddenly finds themselves thrown into the world of Unreal Engine's blueprints. But why would you even make that switch? Well, as you can see, the game engine I was using set the industry on fire, so instead of running straight into the fire, I just went the other way and chose a different engine. I chose Unreal because I've heard a lot about the good community and the graphical fidelity of Unreal. I'm sure you have seen the videos of the Matrix demo. Now, don't get me wrong, the transition wasn't all smooth sailing. Adapting to Unreal's workflow took some time and optimization. Well, let's just say it's a whole new ball game. But with the perspective and healthy dose of trial and error, I've managed to overcome these challenges and create something truly remarkable for the time it took to make. Let's get started at the beginning. In the beginning. So I did it like any developer would and I created a project and jumped straight into the engine without any prior experience. I created a chaos vehicle car and played around with the values which was pretty fun but this got boring after a while. So I did the thing that any reasonable developer would do and do the first thing anyone does in another game engine, that is to create a multiplayer game. Let me tell you, this might sound stupid for any reasonable developer or Unity developer, but jumping into Unreal Engine's multiplayer system was so much easier thanks to the blueprints and thanks to the Steam support. The only real problem I had is setting up that Steam would recognize the game when starting it. But after I finished that, everything was working fine, until I did something. What I've realized is that you shouldn't use the in-engine default car physics at all because they're just not suitable for my game that I want to create. So after thinking about it for 5 minutes, I thought the best course of action was to buy an asset for 170 euros. Now this in return was a really great idea even though it could have ended stupidly with me losing a lot of money. The developer was really nice and responded to my emails within a couple hours, so I got along really well with the game development process. And after adjusting the physics and tweaking the multiplayer to synchronize between players, multiplayer was done. And then I decided let's add a quick chat system which was really easy to implement, again thanks to Unreal Engine's multiplayer support. But the problem was I needed to learn about UI in Unreal. But to my surprise, this wasn't difficult at all. It was similar to Unity, but in a way better since you can just drag and drop stuff in there and it would work automatically without me changing anything. And it also worked really well with the blueprint system, so they worked hand in hand, which made the experience so much better. So I created the chat system and right after that I created a procedural RPM gauge, which in comparison was really complicated in Unity, which I talked about in another video. In Unity the RPM gauge was really glitchy and you couldn't do anything with it at all, but in Unreal it just worked right away, it looked way better and you had more adjustable parameters. And that's a wrap on my journey from Unity to Unreal Engine. So next time, if you think about switching to Unreal, Give it a shot, maybe you don't need to fully switch right away, but you can at least try it and spend a month or two in the engine and see if you like it. Oh and before I forget it, why not join our discord? You can connect with fellow game developers, share your project and dive deeper into the world of game development and don't miss out on any new project I'm creating.